mm -hmm. product you're testing yeah. also. Yeah. But coming from the learning point of view into this question, um, that's interesting. That's number yeah. one. This is Test Guru TV, and the question of the day is... Any pro tips for taking notes like a testing professional? Wow, and the dude sitting next to me, Jani Tuna Haikala, the ultimate champion of testing. Hello, and here next to me is Antti Niittuvita, a tireless testing advocate, a trainer, a public speaker, and an author. And this is a weekly show about mental health in software industry, because everybody is so much happier when software works. Welcome to the show. We're totally on the roll. Who goes first? So the question of the day is how to take notes like a testing professional. Yes, it is. Um, how do you understand this question? Sort of who might be asking what? Yeah, we usually what? have questions about the questions. Um, Sometimes do, yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, like, like the question that comes to my mind is like the purpose of taking notes. So like, do you have the purpose of like learning or reporting bugs? Or what's like the context of of reporting? Of, yeah, or, or yeah. Taking notes. I, I mean, it, yeah. It's it's if, if it's if it would be just taking notes. Yeah. But it's taking notes like a testing professional. So I assume it's sort of quite heavily related on on testing work itself. But you're right about yeah. That yeah. Might, might not be the case. That's actually because you asked the question about the question that brought to me to understand that this may actually be taking notes about testing in, as, as a process. And I was like only thinking about learning purposes. So yeah, <laughs> when I but came that's, to this question. That's actually, yeah. go ahead and answer from learning, from learning point, of view. Point, point of view. I'll um, I'll do it from the testing point of view. Yeah. And I, I think this is like the first thing that, that like I have here. Um, it has to do a lot with like finding bugs and, and getting ideas and you New, new information about the mm -hmm. product you're testing yeah. also yeah. but coming from the learning point of view into this question um uh, my first uh, like like the way i do it and the way i learn to take notes i al always use a journal like pen and paper kind of a journal mm -hmm. yeah um also uh, in testing i use screenshots and stuff like that but but let's come from the learning point of view mm -hmm. uh, I, I use pen and paper journal and and the the first rule for me is to take notes without like any kind of a self-criticism i don't need to make perfect notes like like done is way better than perfect and, mm -hmm. and the reason for doing this is that that i want to condition because like the ideas that i get when i learn the ideas when i get when i for example like sit just down and stare at the uh, you know <laughs> stare outside the window or stuff like that so any kind of insights and ideas they are just like ideas without anything like concrete in the world if you are not training your body and yourself to do something about the ideas you have it is guaranteed that the ideas will leave you alone in the end mm -hmm. so right. in that sense uh, why i say done is better than perfect in note taking is that always when you have any idea that sparks anything inside of you do something condition your body and mind to take action on the ideas that you have and that's why I say any small idea goes immediately through my pen on the paper, even though I may not ever come back to the idea, but I just condition myself to take action when I have ideas. That's interesting. That's number yeah. one. And and that's that actually works in testing too, because like the best testers are really uh, like note-taking banshees in a sense. So anything small that they sense feel or see they take notes on it mm -hmm. and they have conditioned themselves to like pick up even the slightest hints because when you see it, it's this is a cockroach theory mm -hmm. when you see something small that's like glitchy um it's one cockroach and is it like this like cockroach who's gone by himself or herself out on a quest to find something new or is there a hive of cockroaches somewhere close yeah, nearby? Yeah, yeah. Probably there is a hive. Mm -hmm, so yeah. um, it, it, it's not this expedition kind of a lonely cockroach, mm -hmm. lonely, lonely like rider. <laughs> so, so true. Yeah. yeah. So, so this conditions yourself as a tester too to like pay attention to the one cockroach and try to find the hive. Train right. yourself to react yeah. on the ideas yeah. you have. Yeah. Hello friends, if you are someone who wants to take your testing to the next level, I invite you to join Test Guru Insiders. It's completely free and that way you get the episodes from my inbox to yours uh, a minimum of a week earlier than anybody else in the world. 
And in addition to that, you get invited to our live studio sessions and live seminars that we arrange monthly. So please join Test Guru Insiders and join us. It would be awesome to see you there. That's that's nice. That's I like it. Yeah, is sort of done there or is there more? <laughs> yeah, I have like more ideas. Yeah. Um but if you want to go go ahead if, if there is something uh, that you can, have there. Um I, I think yeah. you can go ahead. Yeah. I think the second idea that I that that just like came to my mind is like when I take notes um like react to my ideas. Mm-hmm. Um the second thing that I try to somehow um incorporate into the note is to think about like what I already know, like something that I I know from from like totally different field of of life you know arts you know ted talks that i've done books that i've read or uh, texts that i've written and and stuff stuff like that and i try to find a connection to something that's familiar to me so trying to like when i get a new idea or learn something new i try to place it inside a mental model that is already inside my brain and that way i can keep more of the new idea and it it like it gets connected because like i would say like in the world at least in my world 99% of of like these original seeming ideas are actually a remix of two different ideas that mm-hmm. that I've just stolen from someone else <laughs> so so in that sense i i try to build the connections by taking notes too not only in my brain yeah, yeah and perhaps maybe also if you can or have the time to re- return to the notes also at times mm-hmm. to to build those connections yeah, because when you return true. to it you sort of might have a different perspective already on it exactly. than at the time when you were writing it down. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So so I would say those are my two biggest principles. Yeah, I like those. Yeah. I like those a lot. Um, yeah. The third principle that works for me, I like to use a little bit of colors and and just like doodle something. Like, for example, if it's an idea, I sometimes doodle a light bulb mm-hmm. <laughs> or yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah. And like bringing this like more artistic side into the game of note taking yeah. allows me to keep even more of the information and the ideas that mm-hmm. I got. Yeah. So I can remember them and 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 like like these three ideas combined. Um, when taking really like taking notes with the pen and paper um, is me trying to structure what I learn, mm-hmm. trying yeah. to structure yeah. my ideas. Yeah. And and only when I have done the work of trying to structure what I what I've learned, I can explain it to others. And if if the ideas have no structure, it's just a mess of ideas inside my head. Yeah. Yeah. When when I try to explain things about testing to others, it's just a mess of ideas that comes out of uh, out of my mind too. Mm-hmm. So so obviously, for example, answering these kind of questions. So right. there needs yeah. to be a structure. And I I know that you've taken notes about the questions, mm-hmm. and I've done that too. Uh, yeah. I just don't have my notes. Yeah, 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 so yeah. so that's the only way. To like bring something of value to others mm. when you try to explain the things. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And I, I've actually I've seen your notes. Yeah. Only when you've shown those, so yeah. not not all of your notes, obviously. But I sort of admire the uh, the use of colors and the doodling and the things that you were explaining because my mine are just pure text, and I sort of. I'm uh, sort of envious a little. <laughs> I would yeah. like to be able to. Uh, but uh, you know, yeah, for just, you people there, uh, for example, I use pink, like like really like bold pink color yeah. to uh, create shades into like boxes and clouds mm-hmm. that I draw mm-hmm. sometimes. So I, yeah. I love the pink sa- shades yeah. for some reason. Yeah. Um, that's just a strange me, but I found a way that like really speaks to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, that's really nice. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So, from testing po- point of view, yeah, then, that's right. um, well, first of all, I don't know if the person asking is already making notes or not, but mm. people often find it difficult to actually just do the work. I mean, you could, there's many ways of, mm-hmm. of keeping notes. You could take screenshots, you could take screen recordings, you could do various things. But just like you, I find actually writing down on a notebook mm. yeah, the best way to do it. Mm. And in order to be a professional in it, you sort of need to do it, start mm-hmm. doing it. That's how you learn. So the first obvious uh, advice would be to start making those, those notes, writing yeah. the notes down. Then you'll sort of learn what level of notes you do, do you actually need yourself. Yeah. How much information do you need to write down if it's too much, if it's too little. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, it's a learning curve. Yeah, that's true. Uh, definitely. 
Um, I, I, I read uh, Richard Branson's The Finding My Virginity, mm-hmm. the latest yeah. autobiography, uh, autobiography. I, I think it's like a few years old mm-hmm. already. But what, what how, how he started the book? It was like the New Year's Eve when his family was like having the party yeah. uh, in the living room, and yeah. he was in his study with his journal alone, and and reflecting on the past year and and planning the next one. Mm-hmm. And and that that was like to me, it was like whoa, like the like the biggest and boldest people in the world do this as well. And um, for example, my mentor um, uh, uh, Michael Bolton, mm-hmm. RST yeah. Yeah. coach and a trainer. Um, um, He, he he always like the last time when I was in his training he actually showed it he has this like pocket in his like <laughs> you know <laughs> trousers yeah, pants yeah. and there is this small I think it was a moleskin journal yeah. uh, and and he always has that with him and and was like yeah. showing it to others and yeah. and, and that's I, I think that's a sign that those who perform on a high level they they are always ready to take notes mm-hmm. yeah. So, yeah so yeah yeah and it's it's uh, I, I'm I can sort of. I'm, I'm familiar with the idea that when, when you know, and uh, I think every one of us can recogni- recognize it. So you get those ideas every now and then. Mm-hmm. You might be at work. You might be at home. You might be doing some sports, whatever. You m- might be in, in different places, or maybe even, even in the middle of the night. Yeah. But often, if you don't write that idea down, then you'll forget it. Yeah. For yeah. me, it takes maybe five seconds, and I'll yeah, that's forget that's true. It. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And so, sort of, it's important also to keep keep those yeah, notes, I'm, be I'm, a- able to do do those notes that, whenever true. the ideas come up. Yeah, usually yeah. one of the best ideas I I get when I drive. You know, I'm on a car mm-hmm. alone driving yeah. a long distance. Yeah. Um, and then ch- ideas just start pouring in. Yeah. And I, s- yeah. I I have to stop the car take my journal and take the note mm-hmm. and if i don't do that i'm super frustrated in the evening or, or the next morning because like i'm like i know there is a great idea that i was inspired about about mm-hmm. but i cannot remember yeah. what it yeah. was and i'm super yeah. frustrated like emotionally frustrated so <laughs> yeah yeah i i know the feeling yeah. yeah yeah but yeah then back to testing once you have actually learned mm. to make notes then sort of in in the testing context um uh, Sort of keep while you are doing testing, uh, especially exploratory testing, mm-hmm. for example. But my, my, I think it applies to anything really. Um, sort of keeping notes on on first of all what you are doing mm. at all times, because whenever the bug comes up, you sort of need that information in order to get those reproduction mm-hmm. steps. Uh, obviously, you know details on the bugs. At that time, you might want to take some screenshots or whatever you need, the logs, yeah. screen recordings, whatever. And then also, I don't think I'm alone mm-hmm. in, in this either. Uh, when you're testing, you get new ideas all yeah. the time while doing the testing. Uh, how about if I do that? What what would happen then? And you easily get sidetracked. Mm-hmm. So what you want to do really is is to write those ideas down Mm. And sort of keep going, doing what you were originally doing, to finish that mm-hmm. uh, task, that time box, that session. Yeah, and then so guarding the focus. Yeah, yeah. Point. Sort of keeping yeah. keeping the notes, the steps, the box, the new yeah. ideas, whatever comes up to your mind during that yeah. testing session. Just make notes about those yeah. things. That's a perfect way to guard the focus because, like, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I I too get distracted like yeah. super yeah. easily yeah. as a tester. Yeah. And as a human being as well, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. not only while testing. Yeah, but yeah I, I actually yeah. have this like <clears throat> mental model. I call it the P and L. Mm-hmm progress and learnings yeah um and I, i i for example when i take notes when i'm working i i split the page to half mm-hmm. there is the progress and the learning is half yeah and i i take notes on the progress how i'm doing and what what yeah where i'm heading now and then if there are new ideas that i need to later research or or you know just like think about more i i write it on the le- learnings side oh, so P and L. yeah yeah, yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. yeah. And then once you have those notes, yeah, testing session, your time box is done. You're done with what you were doing. Obviously, you need to act on those. Mm-hmm. Sort of. So use those notes to plan those next next sessions, next time boxes. Take those ideas in, into use also. So 
Yeah, that's sort of the process that I. Yeah, that's like like you building the model of how testing is processing model in inside your head and yeah, the page yeah, about yeah. the software, and that's how you generate the next ideas about what should I test next mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's yeah. the basis of all the future. Yeah, so. obviously you need to do some prioritizing. Yeah, but but after each each mm. session, you have new information mm. about the software, so your priorities might change. You might that's want true. to focus on something else. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's not that important. This is really interesting. This needs to be done. Mm-hmm. You need to sort of adjust to those new ideas also yeah. and take them in, into use. Wow, that's like a ton of instructions for taking notes, like a testing <laughs> professional. It, it almost feels like this is like our favorite topic somehow. <laughs> we're, Might like, be. we're getting really excited and all all the time getting new ideas. So we mm-hmm. should. I think you should write those ideas down. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, of course then. Yet, yet again, there are the obvious things, mm-hmm. you know. Um, for example, how to take notes like a testing professional and how to like become better at it, how to improve. Yeah, it's like it's exactly the same way how you learn to do push-ups. Yeah, so you learn yeah. to doing you yeah. learn doing push-ups by doing push-ups. push-ups. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the only way. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, the, the obvious things you you got to start. Mm-hmm. So this is like really, um, in a sense, like really individual kind of thing because things that work for you may not work for me mm. in note taking. True. So yeah. you got to start and find your way, find your preference, and like experiment. I would say. So what 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 works for you? That's mm-hmm. testing as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. You test. And yeah. When you start, you're bound to sort of make yeah. mistakes also. So That's don't, true. Don't yeah. give up. <laughs> Just yeah. keep learning from that and. Yeah. Uh, uh, adjusting one final thing um I, i've started like really practicing training running um like just like this few weeks mm-hmm. being like really like i i bought a training program for running and yeah, i want to become yeah. a runner I've, I've always gone to the gym and working out and stuff yeah. like that but now yeah. i want to become a runner as well mm-hmm. coach in in this like training program he says that there is only one thing that you need to learn here only one thing and and uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, I need to become faster runner. I, yeah, I need to get get a better like oxygen, nice my lungs, stuff like you know, <laughs> stuff like that. And and she said that that the only one thing is that you need to learn to like running. <laughs> so so that's the only way that you can do this for long yeah, enough yeah, to yeah, have it yeah. an impact. So yeah. it's the same with note taking. I would say you need to teach yourself to like note taking. Mm, that's so that's point. the first yeah. thing. Yeah. And yeah. when you like it, you end up doing it more and, and that's how you will learn and that's, True. that's how you improve yeah. your ways. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Have we answered the question? Uh, I think we have. Yeah, me too. I'm really satisfied. And I think this is a pretty long episode as well. <laughs> Looking at the cameras and the timer here, it's like being like a long, long time here. Yeah. Well, if you're still with us, my friend, um, please don't hesitate to use the like button and, you know, send the hearts. And if you want to add your ideas into the comments, please do so and share your questions about this question or anything else in testing with us. And we we may answer those questions in future episodes. So thank you for joining us. Yeah. Take care and bye-bye. See you. Bye.